Uh, but then he talks about blaspheming against the Holy Ghost. Some people have referred to this as the unforgivable or the unpardonable sin. And, you know, everybody's got an article. Everybody's got a website. Everybody's got something like, what is the unforgivable sin? And it's important to understand the context of who he's talking to and the story of what happened. They do something very, there's something very specific about this story. First of all, they know better. These guys are not ignorant. They know that you can only cast out demons by the power of God. They know that. It's not an ignorance thing. They know that to be the case. Second of all, more than likely, they know he's probably the Messiah because the Spirit of God is revealing him to them. So they know this as well. But instead of acknowledging that, they perpetually... Keep in mind, these guys aren't just saying this one time. They've made up their mind. They've decided he's doing these things by the works of the devil. And attributing the works of the Spirit to Satan. That's specifically what they're doing. And they're doing it perpetually. They're not going to change their mind. That's the context of this story. With that in mind, two really great quotes on this issue of blaspheming the Holy Spirit. This is the only time that it's mentioned in Scripture of what this looks like and what that means. Um, John MacArthur wrote this, Those who spoke against the Holy Spirit were those who saw His divine power working in and through Jesus, but willfully refused to accept the implications of that revelation, and in some cases attributed that power to Satan. Many people had heard Jesus teach and preach God's truth as no man had ever taught before, yet they refused to believe him. They had seen him heal every kind of disease, cast out every kind of demon, and forgive every kind of sin, yet they charged him with deceit, falsehood, and demonism. In the face of every possible evidence of Jesus' messiahship and deity, they said, no. God could do nothing more for them and they would therefore remain eternally unforgiven. My favorite definition comes from Daniel L. Uh, Aiken, or Aiken, don't know how to say his last name. Um, he says, to blaspheme the Holy Spirit is to, quote, knowingly, willingly, and persistently attribute to Satan the works of God done by and in Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit, who testifies to these truths in your heart. I'm going to read the definition again. To blaspheme the Holy Spirit is to, quote, knowingly, willingly, and persistently attribute to Satan the works of God, done by and in Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit, who testifies to these truths in your heart. Um, in other words, the unforgivable sin, as it's sometimes called, cannot be done ignorantly. Ig ignorantly. This is important. Some people wonder, I wonder if I accidentally blaspheme the Holy Spirit. No, no. It, it's not done ignorantly. Um, it's not done on accident. And it's not just done in one incident. It's not like, oh, this one time I said this one thing, I said it out of ignorance, kind of slipped out, now I can't be forgiven. I blaspheme the Holy Spirit. It's over. Um, you know, there was, for, there was some atheists that had like this blaspheme the Holy Spirit challenge, like, many years ago, and so they'd post videos on the internet of them saying, I blaspheme the Holy Spirit. And they were like, there! Now I can't ever be forgiven of my sins. So there, Christian. Like, that's, that's not how you blaspheme the Holy Spirit. Like, that's not what this is talking about. You can't, you're coming from a, obviously a place of ignorance. That's obvious right here. And you don't blaspheme him just by saying you blaspheme him. Like, that's not, anyway, just saying the words is not blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. Um, so it's not on accident, um, it's not done in ignorance, um, it's not just one incident, rather it's something that's done knowingly, willingly, and persistently. Um, and that's unforgivable, there's nothing that can be done. And it's rooted in unbelief.